Welcome back, guys. So let's go ahead and jump into a collective read. We're going to use the Millennial Oracle deck here, and we're going to just put some uh, messages for the collective. All right, give me a message for the collective. What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? Ooh. All right, we got glow up. We got woke and ratchet. Somebody's going through a glow up. Somebody has woke up to the fact that maybe a certain look or a certain image could be, you know, damaging, could be, uh, you know, unappealing or not elegant. So I feel like someone here is realizing that they need to step it up a notch. Okay. I sense like somebody stepping there, stepping it up a notch. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we grown now. We adults now. There's a certain way that it needs to be. I need to carry myself. Okay, I see someone could be spying on you. Somebody who expected for you to stay in this struggle and energy, they could be spying on you. But I feel like they don't even know the the new you. <laughs> All right, we got sis. Someone is being shady. Something is being hidden, suspicious, suspect, or untrustworthy. Okay, so this person is spying on you. You can't trust this person. You can't trust this person. Yeah, you cannot trust this person. Tell me more. You got filter. Slay. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all have been slaying, like, your image. I feel like the glow up is for some of you, you started wearing makeup, maybe you started dressing differently. You just presented yourself differently, okay? And with everything that you've been doing, you may be posting these pictures and things online. You got people that's watching you and it's all because they're admiring you from afar. You're slaying. They could be looking at you as a competition, but they feel like you on point. Whoever going up against you, they gonna lose. Yeah, somebody's mood is like, uh. But I feel like the, the the mood here is the topic or how you're feeling is relatable to them. Feelings and understand. Okay. Yeah, see, it's time to, to bench a certain attitude or demeanor that maybe you could have had before. Maybe it was a little bit unappealing. Um, I'm getting a switch up to bougie. I'm getting a complete... Switch up to bougie, okay? I'm getting a complete switch up. But I want to I want to know about this person who is spying. Tell me more about this stand. Is somebody who you uh, are completely done with? For sure. Tell me more about this stand. Okay, I feel like for some of you, this person, this is definitely something going on online, okay? It's a guy that maybe you cut off. They are sitting here watching you because we got thirsty and flatlining. This person has been watching you from afar online because we got Tinder. They really actually like it. We got, you have the green light, go for it, extreme satisfaction, approval, yes, extreme liking. They actually like what you're doing. They're liking the changes. Like, they're like, well, damn, mm, looking kind of good, you know? But still, I want to know, tell me about this sus. What's sus? Okay, now, this is slut shaming. Okay, expressing your sexuality, shaming, feeling judged, double standard, and casual sex. So somebody feels 
see we got this on the same energy on the same thing right here ratchet and slut shaming and sus somebody being shady could be rooming and having rumors or some type of receipts on when you maybe you know was was uh outdoing you somebody's judging you somebody's judging you they felt like you was doing like you was flexing flexing extra hard they should put you on blast yeah they feel like oh you acting suspicious you acting different now that's what it says they feel like you're acting different because you maybe used to come off as like like okay and so what it is what it is now you had this glow up this person they're watching from afar even though that they like what they see they still sitting over here judging you they want to put you out on blast because they feel like you did all this extra this extra flash this extra flexing and people gassing you up but they got some tea maybe you want to be an influencer now okay you want to be an influencer now and now they they want to throw shade okay they want to throw shade so you got a hater you got a stand they're suspicious of your behavior like the switch up they're very suspicious like what is this all about how come all of a sudden like they wasn't doing that when when we were together they weren't doing that they weren't acting like that when i was around so what's the big difference now why are they so different now hmm so somebody feels some type of way about your glow up Page of Cups, King of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Two of Swords, King of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles. Some of y'all are done with the Earth sign. It's just lots of Pentacles here. This person is upset okay their energy is the knight of swords i'm hearing i knew you was gonna say that i knew you was gonna say that why is the knight of swords here eight of swords yeah this person is still stuck yeah see i'm telling you you changed your image after the relationship you changed your image you changed your image i'm getting the switch up before they could um you making up for lost time this is how this person feel like you're making like you you're making up for lost time this person feels like you you switched this is someone that you used to deal with who's watching you why is this eight of swords here could be a friend could be a lover the devil could be a capricorn or a virgo or a Libra Gemini Aquarius. They don't they say, Oh, you don't think that I know this? <laughs> you don't think that I know this? Mm. You got all this confidence all of a sudden. You didn't have that when I was with you. Yeah, they felt like you weren't giving them any attention or they weren't giving you any attention. They might have felt like you weren't going to be no be anybody or do nothing without them. 
Why is the high priestess here? This person knew knew that maybe I think some some of y'all could have been battling depression or anxiety. We got the nine of swords and the six of cups. So this person could have like they knew this about you about your past. They knew this like you had some type of secrets, um, some type of childhood wounds um, that they felt like you like you were leaving this behind, like you left this behind. Wow. Tell me more about this. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Strength card could be a Leo and the Magician. They feel like this, whatever it is that you went through, it actually made you stronger. Like, they're looking at you like you're a superwoman, superman. Like, whatever you went through, this person is kind of, like, scared of you. Like, this person is like, well, damn. It's like, it don't seem like it tore her down or tore him down. It actually made them stronger. Why is the page of cups here? The star. This person is hoping you tell them what you did. How did you, yeah, the ace of swords. This person wants to communicate with you, wants to reach out to you and talk to you. They feel like you look younger than you did when you was with them. They've been spying on you. I'm telling you, they're spying on you. They, they feel like you're looking real good. And they're surprised. They're super surprised by this. Like, you ain't doing none of this. Why is the King of Pentacles here? This person's disappointed. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. They are disappointed, okay? They feel like you're getting attention. Mm. Yeah, you're getting male attention. You're getting validated. You're getting validated. You're getting more mature men or more mature women in your life. Since you stopped dating this person, like the level up was personal. Yeah, they kind of like just sitting back watching you. They're just sitting back watching you, waiting to see what you're going to say, waiting to see what you're going to do, your next move is. Yeah. Some of y'all may have kicked this person out and just moved on. And that's how the relationship fell apart. You got the tower and the two of cups. And like some of y'all, y'all just isolated yourself from this person. You did some soul searching. You went on a hiatus. You did some soul searching. The hermit is going off to do some soul searching. Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups and the King of Wands. Lots of people over here. Okay, so what's tell me about these people with Ten of Cups? So I'm getting two people could be in a relationship with one man. We got the Queen of Pentacles. Let's put this out there that it is the Queen of Pentacles and the King of, Pen King of Pentacles here. So at one point in time, you and this person saw eye to eye. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, King of Ooh, excuse me, King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But there was a lot of passion here. There was stability here. There was an emotional, fulfilled connection that you had with this person. Um, this person just feels like if they take your side, that you'll try to leave. You'll try to leave them. At this point, they're having regrets telling you some type of truth. But they were just tired of going back and forth. They, they, I'm getting like someone tell you, tell you that they fell in love with someone else. So maybe this masculine fell in love with somebody else. Um, and you two parted ways, but they can't help but to watch you. Every move that you make, seven of cups and the seven of wands, they watching every move that you make, everything that you say. And it's like every day it just pisses them off more and more because they just kind of, they're upset because they didn't think that you could keep up. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here?
I'm getting like this person wants to start over. We got the Ace of Pentacles, the World, and the Six of Swords. I feel like also too. This person wants to have make peace with you. I feel like they feel like this is karma. I feel like this person is coming towards you with some type of offer. They feel like they got to talk to you. They got to see what you're thinking. They got to give you your props. Um, but they can't wait. They feel like they should have kept you. Instead, they walked away from the situation. Um, it seems like you developed. You tried new things. You started something. Maybe some of you got a new job. Um, this person here, this I feel like this person here just messed up. Yeah, you're not gonna fall for it. Two of Swords and the and the Fool. A lot of y'all not gonna fall for it. You just wanted, you know. You just. I feel like you gave this person a chance. Do you feel like if you give this person a chance, they're going to lie, sneak, be manipulative? Okay. So, in their hopes and fears, they think that you may ask them for something. Um, like giving, this person thinks is afraid that you're going to ask them for something or some type of gift or something. And they feel like they, they don't have it at the time or they didn't have it at the time. the nine of pentacles here yeah see look at this nine of pentacles four of wands ten of pentacles this person thinks that you're trying to outdo them trying to outshine them and it's ever since that you left you felt like you're doing something like you better this person is upset because you leveled up okay this person having regrets, okay? They regret letting you go. Five of Cups and a Ten of Wands, all right? The level up was personal. This was something personal. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and a Ten of Pentacles. I'm getting it. There's a lot of focus on self and stability financially and home life and within yourself, okay? This person is regretting letting you go. They regret it. This person, they're only, if this person comes back around, their intention is to kind of hold you back. So this this person isn't a good fit. This person needs to grow, got a lot of growing up to do. I feel like they want to come around just to kind of slow you down. But I feel like you already are aware of that. You don't even want to deal with this person like that. It ain't even that. It's like, nah, nah. Why would I go back to you after I've been doing so good without you? Like when I was with you, you know, things didn't go like how they were supposed to go for a reason. And then as soon as we depart and we split ways, I start doing so much better. I start looking better. I start dressing better. I start thinking better. I done healed. And you think I'm going to go back to that? No, don't think so. All right, so I'm loving this energy, okay? Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later.